Good morning, Guardians, to another Destiny 2 video brought to you by your favorite Guardian here, Zeus for your Mega, here once again with another Zerg LZ on this beautiful Friday morning, October 6th, current time 2.15. And once again, Zerg has landed, and he has landed in our favorite zone, in the ADZ. In fact, he landed in uh, Whining Cove in the European Dead Zone. So let's head down there, let's go take a look at his wares, and hopefully he brought us something good, something new this weekend. So, let's take a guess, hopefully, maybe, if we're lucky, something, um, something that we don't have. Uh, I'm really hoping for some uh, hunter, all the exotic armor actually. Something I don't have, like, uh, for the Hunter, I have the helmets, I got the Celestial Nighthawk, Foe Tracker, I only got one, the man, uh, was the Trickster Sleeves, I really want the, the Young Akamara Grasp. I think I got all the chest pieces already. I think I'm missing one pair of the boots, though. Let's see... Let's hop on the sparrow. He looks like he's up high. Come on, don't you, let me get stuck in this rock. Where is he? On the other side of the ship? There he is. Oh, there's a region chest right here. I haven't seen that one. Anyway, let's get to Zur. He's over here on the edge of the cliff. These are from the nine. All right. First up, we have the Vigilant Wing Pulse Rifle. This is a pretty nice one. Uh, you can see I have the skin for the Book of the Dead. Pretty nice. 270 with the plus five weapon attack mod. This has the uh, what was it? Harsh Truths. The weapon fires a five round burst. When nearby allies kill, gain health regen and increase movement speed. It's a great weapon for the crucible and better yet for trials. It also comes with corkscrew rifling, alloy magazine, last stand, and composite stock. Hmm, not bad. How much does that run for? 29 legendary shards? Pretty nice. Next up we got the full tracker helmet for the hunter. <laughs> I see you. This bad boy comes with Relentless Tracker, which has the armor perks of Plasteel Reinforcement Mod or Restorative Mod. And this one actually comes with uh, Energy Bracken Mod, Improved Weapon Handling for Equip Energy Weapons. Well, that is pretty nice. Not bad, actually. Just for this mod alone. Next up, we have that an infernal, uh, insurmountable skull four for the hunter, not the hunter, Titan. <sighs> it's past 2 a.m. and I'm <laughs> extremely tired. So, got the skull four for the Titan. This one comes with the transfusion matrix. Kills with an arc melee ability, triggers health regen, and restores melee energy. Once again, it has the Mobility Enhancement mod and Restorative mod, and the Arc Impact mod with 5 of Defense, Arc of Melee's abilities recharge faster. Not bad. Ah, this is a new one I haven't got for my Warlock yet. 
Nezarek Sin. Nezarek Sin. Let's see. Abyssal Extractor. Void damage kills increase ability energy recharge rate. Ooh, that's pretty nasty. Mobility Enhancer mod and Restored mod with the Energy Bracken mod with 5 of defense. Not bad. Not bad at all. Pretty cool. So, like you guys, I'm wondering when do we get to use uh, Strange Coins again. But we'll find out soon. But for now, we have the Vigilant Wing for the weapon. Uh, Foe Tracker for the uh, Hunters. We got the Skull for, for the Titans. And we have the Nezarek Sins for the Warlock. So come pick up your exotic if you haven't got any of these yet. Uh, good old Zerg. It's here in the EDZ. Right off of, uh, or in Winding Cove. Right next to this Fallen Cache. Just a quick jump and you're there. So hope you guys enjoy his new inventory. And catch you guys next time in the next Zerg LZ. Zeus Mega signing off.